Spirit of the holidays is certainly all around us now, and of course, our set looks amazing. But if you don't think you could do what we've done, I say bah humbug. The professionals at Lucky Home in Issaquah make it easy to turn your house or your tree into a winter wonderland. Denise Jensen recently showed us how to layer our tree so it's dripping with joy. It is always a visual delight walking into Lucky Home, but at the holidays, boy, does this place sparkle. Look at this magnificent tree that greets you as you walk in the door, and it's like a winter wonderland personified. Denise, I can't tell you how in awe I am every year when I come in, but really, this one is over the top <laughs> beautiful. Well, thank you. We had a lot of fun doing this. For our center enter tree, we chose gold, and to really accent the gold, we decided to bring in the bronze, which has been really popular this year. You say it makes it richer. Let's talk about colors right now. I see it's all kind of the same palette, but you've got these pops of color here and there. Yeah, we within the gold, we picked lots of different types of gold, different shapes, different textures. You've got a smooth going here. You've got real textury and sparkly here. And I love these bows. I think these are a phenomenal touch. Anything extra you can add. And like I say, I love this bronze because it really gives us a pop of color. The other thing I really like about this tree is it's so interesting. There's like a lot of dimension. How do you create dimension on a Christmas tree? Well, the best thing to do with a tree is first of all, pick one that's not too full okay. because it's really nice to be able to reach into a tree and layer it. Ah. So if you look inside, you want them to all you know, hang at different levels. Okay. And so that gives you a depth into the tree. This tree happens to be a flock tree, which are really popular right now. Yeah. In the sense of the, the color scheme that we picked with the gold, we thought, wow, the flock tree is going to really pop all the colors. You talk about the dimension, but I feel like there's also a lot of layering that's happening in this tree. Well, layering is very important. That's what gives you your depth and dimension on the tree and makes it more interesting. Mm -hmm. I like to start with a tree that's not too heavily full that you have room so you can reach in, literally reach in and put ornaments and tuck them inside. Let me point out some of the garlands as well. This you, is a wooden. That is a wooden that's garland. That's wood. Yeah. That is so cool. Who would have thought of putting that on an elegant tree? But it's beautiful. It's just painted kind of a rustic gold. And most people traditionally just will wrap their garlands around the tree. Uh -huh. You can actually do many different ways. And you can do different ways on the same tree with different garlands. You can notice we've definitely put different garlands on. Here's our little curly, curly sparkles going around it's the like tree. It's like a ribbon covered in glitter. Have you seen <laughs> anything better? No, I think I could just wear this around the house and I'd be happy. And so you can see how you can take that and just twist that. Here's an example of the wood bee just going up and down. So I think the real thing for interest and depth and dimension like we're talking about and seeing the different textures, you don't want to do everything the same. Okay, and that makes sense to me. Also, when you're using garland, does it have to be, you know, something that is, is completely the same color or can you add a pop of color with your garland? Like, Oh, absolutely add a pop of color. Think about your tree color because on this one, maybe, you know, a white one or a clear one isn't going to show up as well. Right, that's good. That's why we pulled the sparkle and the gold. And the bronze too, I love the bronze. Let's talk about the size of ornaments. I think a lot of times when I'm going ornament shopping, if I start with a round ornament, I feel like I got to stay round. Well, we love mixing it up. I like using different sizes in the same shape. So even within round, go go big and small. And okay. even if you have a smaller tree, you can go, like this is a four inch ornament right here. You can go three inch and four inch if you don't have a large size tree. This tree screams for a big, big chunky ornaments. I will say I have noticed that I have guy. bought, I feel like all the ornaments in the world, but then when I get them on the tree, I feel like I could use more. Is there ever a time when too much is too much? Well, by looking at this tree, I say absolutely not. <laughs> we love a packed tree. It's amazing how it comes together with all the different things, and that's really what makes the interest. I love it, and I love that when I come here and I ask you to help me put it together, you don't have to help me put it together because you've got everything grouped in these perfect spaces, but I do know that everything sells out fast, right? <laughs> well, it does. It's amazing how uh, so much is sold even before Thanksgiving. All right, well, so get on down here to Lucky Home because I tell you what, it is truly a winter wonderland, a visual delight, and it's so always wonderful to spend time with you. Well, thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. So much fun to learn how to do that. And actually, Lucky Home helped us build our tree this year. Check this out. So we really leaned into the green, rustic sparkle vibe that we were kind of doing throughout our set. And I absolutely love it. We've got wood and glass ornaments, and then we've got this over-the-top uh, 
Christmas tree topper star thing. I love that. It's so very fun. So beautiful. There's even owls throughout the tree. It's like a flock of owls. What is it? A parliament, par a parliament of owls. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, the